Hello, 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 everybody. Let me know if you can hear me. Shoutouts to everybody out there. It is Sunday. I don't know what I just put on my hand, but something got there. It is all sticky and it's weird. Okay, um, <laughs> it is Sunday the 21st of May. We're almost done. We're almost done May. It's crazy. Oh, what the heck? I don't know what got up. Anyways, I just got distracted there. Um, yeah. We're almost done, May. There's about a week and a half left. Because, uh... That's, that's where we're at right now, in, in the world, and, and in places. Me, let me just... Switch over to my... My usual talk screen. There we go. So much better now. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoy your weekend this weekend, obviously, because we have, well, if you're in Canada, we have Victoria Day on, on Monday. So we have tomorrow off, which is awesome. So we, we get to have that extra day of rest. Well, hopefully it's an extra day of rest for people out there because uh, you know how it is. It's, uh, sometimes we have to get things done during the weekend that we couldn't do during the rest of the week. So that's the way it is. Uh, all right. So, all right. I'm like, check it out. I, I realized that um, my... For some reason, my Streamlabs mon um, bot or whatever the heck it is wasn't on last time, I don't think. Um, so hopefully it's working on now. I don't know why it, it just auto turns off sometimes. So I have to always kind of like go back into the program and then turn it back on or whatever. I might switch it maybe to <clears throat> the other one of the other ones just to try it out to see what happens. But we'll see. Um, it's too dang hot outside. Yeah. The weather went up again. We had all that rain weather and now and now we are left with sunshine which is amazing because that's great but also what sucks is people with allergies like myself who are suffering at nighttime. Um, <laughs> I can hardly breathe when I go to sleep at night now. And then course we got the hot weather coming in um today it's about i think it's going up to 23 from what i remember um but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be warm and then the other day i was i was surprised because i was in my bait wall i live in the, my my room's in the basement so everything's cool so i was like oh why is it getting warmer in my room all of a sudden and i was just like it's still cool but it's getting a little bit a little bit warmer and then I go upstairs and it's like scorching hot and I'm like, oh, summer weather. Okay, um, should I be wearing shorts now? Because I'm wearing pants and <laughs> and then like late last night we're, when we we're playing FF, I was like, I'm starting to get really warm. I feel like I should just eat my freaking shorts, uh, like put my shorts on and stuff and like, you know, but I got I to gotta find my stuff though. I got to find my uh, spring wear. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, no, I'm back to I'm back to jeans right now because it's it's still a little bit it's cool down here, so I'm okay with this. It's only like if I start using a whole bunch of different stuff at the same time, then it starts to get warmer and whatnot. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a swig of water here before my voice starts cracking. Ah, <clears throat> there we go. Because allergies, like I said, my nose is kind of like a little bit stuffed. A little bit but not that bad i feel like maybe i should take my allergy pill but like usually it's one of those like it's supposed to be like 24 hours thing so you're not supposed to take too many at the same time and i'm not sure when i took my last one it might have been yesterday no it wouldn't have been yesterday it would have been two days ago so i should be fine um yeah just so that i don't suffer too much but i don't want to take it right away because if i have to suffer through tonight then it's gonna be a terrible time um, but yeah. 
So, trying to get some spring cleaning done. I finally got my tires put on, um, which, oh god. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so angry about this, but, um, <sighs> so, long story short, uh, it, here in Canada, we have to get our tires changed because it's part of the law where you go from like winter to summer tires and like in reverse you each year around the same time um just because it's like it's safe for the roadway and all that kind of stuff like that but anyways i went to go put my summer tires i guess you can call them or spring tires on and lo and behold they were they're not they were no longer good anymore so <laughs> My poor wallet, I had to spend oopless amounts of monies to get four new, brand new tires put on my vehicle. Um, which wasn't too terrible though, t to be honest. Like, it was scheduled on Friday and then just like, I went in the morning and then they're like, yeah, they're scrapped, so we're gonna order some and you can put them on later today. And I'm like, okay. but. I was like, oh damn. And then they were like telling me like, hey, like, do you know this company? This is the ones we're getting for you. And I'm like, I don't really know them. So I'm just gonna look them up online and, and find out if they're good. And sure enough, they're pretty decent, decent brand for tires. Apparently they're a new company called Maxxis. I have no idea. Maybe people who know cars know this company, but uh, they look, they're pretty pretty. Like they're, they're not your standard like, uh, typical tires with the tire tracks, they have different, kind of made differently and have different traction and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. And I feel like they're a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger than the ones that I had before, but I'm, maybe I'm just tripping. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, Friday I had to learn a lot more about tires <laughs> in that one moment than I would in my lifetime. I was like, oh yeah, there's different sizes. I know I know for a fact that like, you know, I needed to have s at least 17 inch tires put on my car, but uh, you know, and then it's like, well, I had good years before and then like, it's like, oh, do we have like the option to get this? Like, no, I was like, ah, okay. But anyways, I was able to take care of that. Everything should be good for now. The tires look great. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be driving my car around, probably this week or something like that anyways, because I did need it, but um, yeah, that was my that was my Friday, my adventures of Fridays. Of course, my week was work week, as people have many, uh, the joys of, I say the joys of work, but then at the same time, it's like the, the dread of work though too, depending on like where you're working and stuff like that. Good advice out there uh, I give people is like if you enjoy your job and you like what you do just make sure that like you still enjoy working for whatever the company is to to enjoy the work that you're doing. Um, that's from past experience uh, for the work that I'm doing currently and with the, the company I'm working at with is really really good so um, find something that you love and also find something like a company that like makes you happy too at the same time for doing your joy. So, um, but yeah, I like challenges. I like to, to do things like that. So this week was a little bit of a challenge, but it worked out to be good. So that's all I'm going to say about that because I can't really talk about my work. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so uh, talking about game stuff, though, um, obviously the new Zelda game came out, Tears of the Kingdom. So literally everyone and their uncles are playing this game. Um, myself included. I didn't think I was gonna jump on board too quickly. I did I did wait a few days before I bought it though. Like I given it some time and I was like, I'm gonna get this game and I'm gonna play it, but it's gonna be an eventual thing. And then like my original plan was like, oh, I'm gonna beat like cause I have Breath of the Wild, but when I bought it, it was way back when the consoles were switching out. So I bought it for the Wii U. And technically speaking, I never actually finished Breath of the Wild. Like I was at the end of the game because I did pretty much as most as you can in that game. I did all, like I did most of all the side quests and stuff like that. And 
I was just trying to take care of all that stuff before actually finishing the game, so... I just got to that point where I'm like, oh, well... And then... Life happened, obviously, so the game, like, just never got beat, but... Like... I told myself, I was like, I'm gonna buy this game anyways... Because, like, I already know what happens, obviously, because... You know, spoilers and shit like that, um, but... Honestly, it's probably been like one of the better purchases on my end and a lot of people have been saying the same thing to you about this game and all the reviews. They're all getting like near perfect scores for this game and I don't blame them, but my older brother actually made a good point about this is that it's such a great game now, but how are they going to top this in the future? Like how are they going to top this game going forward? You know what I mean? So, like, there's just food for thought for that one. Spoiler, Gravity is on a killing streak. Yes, gr Gravity in that game is, um... It's not my friend. It, it's so fun, though. Like, I enjoy it so many... Like, I, I don't care if I die so many times in that game. That game is so fun. Like, I'm not even... I'm not that far in, to be honest. And, like, I just, I just started a few days ago, and I've only played it during the times that I could play it. I know that people are like insane and they're like playing it for hours on end. I'm like, I cannot, I can't do that anymore. Like maybe when I was a kid, I was able to play hours on end and just keep grinding and keep going. But like for me to play this, I have to, I have to play it in like increments. <laughs> Cause if not, my brain gets overwhelmed <laughs> because there's so much intuitiveness and creativity in this game that like you have to do certain things for and i don't feel like i'm gonna have all the time to be able to, to spend like i did with breath of the wild because you have to craft things so i'm just like i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do like the most of the story stuff that i can um while doing shrines and whatnot and it should be good but uh yeah it's like that's why I was, I was playing a bit of it yesterday and uh, it's always the same experience, but that game makes me laugh so hard though, because some of the stuff is just, you have an idea, you think it's gonna go well, <laughs> and it just goes completely sideways, and you end up dying in the most hilarious ways. So it's, like I was, I was telling the Lord, I was like, yo, this is like home improvement, like the show, and it's like 100% a home improvement like thing. Yeah, and the- oh man, we can't even talk about that now, because, like, the community is, like, so divided. It's like, some people are like, oh, please leave the Koroks alone! And then, like, other ones are like, I wonder what would happen if I sent this Korok to space! Yeets in a rocket! Woo! <laughs> um, yeah. This is- this is what happens when you give, uh... This is what happens when you give power to uh, people. <laughs> They're either are evil geniuses or like, you know. It, it's great though, I love it. It's so fun. If you have a chance to get it, I know it's super expensive here though. Like in the States, it's I think, wait, it was the States? Usually it's like USD for, s it's like a $60 game still or something. I don't know. Anyways, there's a huge difference in price obviously because here it's like you're paying almost near $100 for, for a new any new game. It's like $90 or something like that. Um, because of the exchange rate and also taxes, which really fucking suck. Um, but yeah, I still picked it up anyways. Like, obviously save your monies if you can get it eventually. Try not to look into too many spoilers, but I do recommend looking at some of those construction videos because they're hilarious to look at. It's like, this person- I just saw one today actually. Uh, somebody made like a rotisserie, <laughs> rotisserie meat wheel. <laughs> it just spins around. It has meats and stuff on it, and then there beside it, it's like a flamethrower. So it's cooking all the meats on that wheel. Oh, it was so it's so well done. I can't believe the just the creativity of the people playing this game right now. I haven't even seen most of those mechanics yet. Like, that's how early on I'm at. I'm like... I'm, I just finished the first... Uh, uh, what did they call it? I, I can't even... Like, I, it's like the first boss of the game, essentially. The flying, flying monster thing. It's the air... I want to say the air temple. Because that's, that's probably what it was. But yeah, that fight was insane. If you guys played it already, like... I'm not gonna go too much into it, but it's like the flight mechanics and just 
Wow. They really, they really did a, a great job. And I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any bugs yet. I am so satisfied to not see any issues so far. And I'm just hoping that it stays like this and that there's not a problem at all. Because of all the other releases that we've seen recently, it is like a huge blessing to have a game that just doesn't, doesn't just like break it halfway through, you know? Or right at the beginning. Uh, Yes, all the Gundam moves. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be playing that maybe later after I stream tonight uh, on my own and stuff like that, just to, you know, get some more out of that. Um, but yeah, that was great. Uh, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna probably stream any of it live though, because everybody and their uncles is streaming it live actually right now, um, aside from other stuff that's that's been put out. Um, yeah, I can even see that my friend, well, actually, my friend Jen, she's streaming, I think, right now on her channel. Um, she actually is streaming. Is she streaming Breath of the Wild? Uh, not Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. I'm going to make that mistake so many times. Calling it Breath of the Wild. Yeah, she's over, yeah, she's over, she's playing Tears of the Kingdom on her channel, so. Uh... I wonder if I can do this. Hold on, I'm just gonna try to see if I can shout out. So... I don't know if this works. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that works. Okay, so yeah, anyways, that's their stream and stuff like that. So you could go check them out while they're, while they're playing that too as well today. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna be continuing with uh, more of our Legend of Dragoon this here um, very very soon. Uh, the game's already loaded up and everything like that. We're gonna be continuing on with um... where did my what the heck? It's weird. Um, yeah, we're gonna be continuing on with our our regular. A regular non-paid program. Um, we just... Where we ended up last time was that we just arrived in the town called Fernie. Um, and then I had to like... Kind of leave really quickly because I was like... I was getting tired and hungry and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we just got there and... I think we still need to pick up a few more stardusts in that town before moving on to where we need to go to next. Um, but we did learn a lot in the last... in the last stream that we did last Sunday, which was really great. Uh, I really appreciate people coming in here and also giving tips and stuff, which was really cool. Um, Crazy Dragoon Mistress came in last... Uh, Sunday and helped us out with a few tips on how to better our equipment and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to actually um, go through that though to be honest because I don't like to do too much backtracking and I of course don't have that too much time these days um, during the week to actually go back and play this game so whatever you see here is what we get basically so just a word of warning that I may not take too much time to to do stuff that you'd normally see uh, outside of the stream. Um, that's pretty much it. So I think we're gonna take the time and and actually move over to the main piece de resistance, which is our our live scene. So let's uh let's just let's just get over here. Okay, I gotta make sure that my uh, my controller was all over the place. Good old PS4 controllers. Okay, so yeah, this is where we're at right now. And okay. Ha! Yes, of course, it always does this, where it's like, please enter disc three, and we're like. Uh, what disc? <laughs> I don't know if, if if that was something that was enjoyable. Like maybe maybe the older people can attest though. It's like if how how much do you appreciate having um was it 
digital versions now where you don't actually have to physically get up, change the disc versus back in the day where it's like you were excited to actually take out the disc and then stick it in because you're like, oh my God, we're moving on to the disc. It's there. Da, 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 da. And like now it's just like, here's a waiting screen. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay, so we're in, I think we found the inn for this place. Yes, this is the inn. But where do I need to go for the Stardust? How's my guys doing anyways? Because I don't know if I actually used... Oh, they're fine. Okay. Okay, let's go to that other place that I went to. The house on the right, I think it is. Not these guys. Oh, right. That's true. Okay. They're like, you're going to go hunt the thing in the forest. And I'm like, what? Okay, so I think it's this one. Yeah, I think we got... Yeah, we got the Stardust that was here. But we also need to go... Um... There are fairies living in Evergreen Forest. My story looks so so. Okay, so there's another place that we have to go to to get to. It's not this one though. Where is Tio's house? Uh, okay, let's try to find it. This is a really weirdly built city or town. Is it this place? Oh. Hello, person? Who has a flat face? <laughs> Sorry about Vulgaris. Disrespect everybody's feeling uptight before the battle with the savage wolf. Please excuse them. I understand. You are not here to overcome the wolf. Hmm. Be careful moving on forward on your journey. Ah! Yeah, because they were just like... They were assuming that I was part of whatever the brigade is. I mean, if we can conquer two two birds with one stone in that one, then it should be fine, but... I don't know... Okay, so this was the inn. I'm trying to find out where that place is, though. How do we get there? Is it like a boat? Or is this like... Is this a shop? I'll be right with you. Oh, rent a boat. Here is the license for the boat. The mayor gave us an order to rent the boat to warriors for free. Warriors? Well, you are the warriors who come to overcome the wolf, aren't you? Uh... Okay, so, uh... <laughs> uh, no, we're not. We're just travelers. We just arrived to Tiberoa today. From Tiberoa? That huge boat? Yes, it is the Queen Fury. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, seven. Could you be the famous dart and companions who conquered the sea dragon in Elsa's Bay? I guess the story has traveled all the way here. Come on, let the mayor know about this. He'll be happy to hear about this. Here it is, the license for the boat. Take it. Thank you. I have to thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you, we can go fishing and go to Tiveroa. If you need anything, just drop by. We have accommodations, too. I'll give you a good price. <laughs> Free stuff! Yeah! See, it, it's it's good to be honest sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out which is my... Oh, my sad thing is on number nine. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's go to the front, I guess? We haven't been down this way yet. Uh, go to the house on the right, or go to the item shop? Oh, I want to go to the item shop first. Let's go over there. It's true, because we can get to it from above, but not... Talk to the item shop. 
It's so weird. You need a boat to go and talk to the dude for this. Oh, interesting. They don't have, um... Oh, I already have everything. Okay. Well, we are- what? Oh, that's to jump off. Okay. See ya. <laughs> How is he moving this boat? <laughs> Has he got telekinesis or something? Go to house on the right. <clears throat> oh wait, this is the place with the kid. I think. Wait, is this the mayor's house though? Hold on, let me go check. Oh no, I shouldn't have read this tale of the fairies of the Evergreen Forest. Oh, this is not- this is not it. Okay, so we're gonna go back the other way then. Eat? Looks like a peanut shell. E. That's such a relaxing area. Um, let's go left. Oh, oh, this is the weapon shop. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so we have this already. We need that. Uh, combat boots. Ooh, yes. Okay, so he doesn't need that, but both of them do. Um, and then this guy. Ooh, okay, they're giving me D stone. So, oh shit, I don't have any gold left. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I have stuff I can sell. I will get rid of a few things. Wait, I can sell um weapons that I don't need anymore. Oh, this is fine. As long as they're not wearing it, which I don't think they are. No hat. Superheroes don't wear capes. Dangerous. Um, I don't need these. We don't have. Too many of those. How much was this stuff? This is 400 though. Oh god. We don't have enough. <laughs> Raises physical and magical attack power. Oh, that would have been good. Elude. We don't need elude stuff, but D stone is definitely something I think we're gonna need because it's suggesting it. So, um. Why do I not have stuff that's a lot of I mean we have a poison guard which I can probably sell one of those oh it's these ones okay and then try to do yeah cuz I don't want to sell all of them Some of them are worth. Okay, this is a voice nine styles of fear. Which means I mean worst case scenario, I think we might be able to pick one up depending on where it's maybe located. If it's like an extra item or something like that, that would be great. Okay, so that's what I think I'm gonna 
have happened anyways. Okay. We're just going to leave it like that for now, considering we can't... Go talk to this fisherman person. Hey, here's some tuber. Oh, it seems that there's no need to show up. <laughs> what? Excuse you? Yeah, let's go to the right, and I guess we're going to go up. Up right, to the left. Okay, so we haven't been that way yet. I just want to chill on a boat all day. Let's become adventurers. Let's do it. Uh, is that the mayor's house? Oh no, this is the mayor's house. Floor makes the water look radioactive, yeah. Are they coming yet? The heroes from Tibera? Okay, so I think it's Tio's house. I don't know who's Tio's house, but... Oh, I couldn't sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your heroic deeds in Tebaroa has reached us here in Fernie. It's wonderful that what you did. Now I'd like you to listen to my story. Please, please wait. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like to talk briefly about the sad situation in the village. Would you please listen to me? Uh, fuck. Okay. Okay. This is my daughter, Fa. A few days ago, my daughter, who attacked, who was attacked by a wolf, fortunately, the injury was not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all. Probably from the shock of the incident. Poor thing. The wolf is becoming more savage every day. Now he is joined by monsters from the evergreen forest, and they attack people. I see. The warriors outside are grouped. Headed for battle. Indeed, if we finish off the the wolf, your daughter will maybe become better. And it's more complicated than that. The wolf called Kamwe and attacked Fa was kept by the boy of this village till recently. And the boy who kept Kamwe, named Tio, has disappeared. On the night Fa was injured, Tio disappeared from his home. Probably he feels responsible. He ran away. Tio is been Fa's friends since they were little. Best friends. And you want us to cooperate with you on your mission. Yes, of course. I cannot force you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, sorry about this. I've made you listen for such a long time without thinking about you at all. Well, as my apology, won't you stay at my house for the night? I will be an honor to entertain heroes. Well... That kid stuck to her. You like Shauna? For tonight only. Thank you. I'm glad. Fala's happy too. She's been lonely since her mother passed away. Now let me see. When you're ready to stay, come back and I will prepare dinner for Fa. A yoink. Let's go check out the other place. Old school PS1 graphics. <laughs> the f the floor is radioactive. Uh, to the <coughs> let's go to the clinic. And then we'll check out um Yo's house. Uh, no. I think we're good. We don't need to get healed. Also, we've had enough. Items actually to keep ourselves from actually getting uh... messed up at all. Excuse me. <sighs> I don't think this guy's gonna let us in though. Sorry, but this road is closed. Take another one. But how do we. Hmm. How do we get there? Oh, oh shit. I clicked the wrong one. I was too fast on my fingies. Oh, 
Where's he? Grab more coffee soon. <laughs> To the front. There's definitely a way in. How do we get there, though? Is it through the back section? Yeah, because this doesn't make any sense. From here. How does this make any sense? Hmm. Be right back, yo. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's just that, and then this. Can I get to it from here? There's no door. Or that is a door, but... What? Hmm. I don't think we can access it just yet. I think we have to stay at the mayor's house first, and then... Maybe he'll move. Uh, let's save just in case anyways for now. Okay, this. Let's go. All right. Uh, upper right. Oh, yeah, that guy's gonna be blocking the way the whole entire time. So I think maybe if we go back to the Maris house, maybe we'll be let in. I just want to make sh doubly sure that I am. I just realized that my avatar is not completely kind of like floating a bit. Let me just fix that. There we go. I just realized- I was like, I'm floating in the air for some reason. <laughs> you guys are good? Are you ready to stay here? Uh, yes we are. Have dinner. Om noms. Nastira, are you sleepy? You want to go to bed together? Probably. She wants warmth. Let's go to bed together. What the heck is Hashel doing? <laughs> Lullaby. Ashley's having a flashback. Isn't it a lovely tune? This tune is a lullaby that I am dedicating to my future baby. That might be better for her than mastering the martial arts.
She's sleeping now. <laughs> checks. Checks again. Isn't it such a sweet tune? I learned this from Dart. Dart knew this tune? He said that his late mother sang to him. It's a special lullaby for Dart. What? I see. I was not... It was not a coincidence for me to be here. I'm going to get some air. It reminds me that Dot has been outside on the roof forever. Why don't you join him? Um, did they just say that Hashel's his granddaddy? <laughs> it's, uh, oh, Meru. It's a tune from my memory. You remember when we first came to Silly's? I was little and you used to sing this song to me. I remember that. Back then, I used to take care of you. As if you were my real baby sister, Shauna. <laughs> like a baby sister? But maybe things have changed since then. You and I too, Dart. Yeah, you and I too, Shauna. <laughs> yes, we have. Childhood friend, huh? I wonder how my childhood friend is doing. The moon that never sets. I hadn't noticed, but the moon has been evolving itself in our journey. What the? Uh oh. My, my head hurts. Shauna? What's wrong? Are you alright? Ah. She's freaking out! <laughs> I'm fine now. I can leave anytime. Are you really okay? You can't stay here forever if you like. Thank you very much, but I really have to go. I'll see you soon. Let's go. We have to find Lloyd soon, or it will be too late. I'm with ya. Bye, little kid. Animals in the forest became savage like Cormo. Please be careful. We Let's go fight some... Savage beasts. <laughs> Actually, I think we should be able to get to uh, what's his name's house? Tio's house. Yeah, he's not there anymore. To the right. Cat boys. There we go. Have to be able to open that thing. Calm down. We have to. F we have so many wars. Tio will come back safe. Who is a monster now? It is not Camboy before. Oh no, Tio, Tio. Okay, so how do we open this? Uh. It's a slide. Ow. <laughs> How do I open this door? Do I have to save him first and then go and do it? Maybe? Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a cord that's hanging down, apparently. Where's this cord, though? Oh, this one? Ah, uh, okay. 
There we go. Wait, no, I have to go up. Keep... To go down the side. Eee. That's right. Okay, so then the stardust is just here. Nice. Do -do. <laughs> That's like breaking into somebody's house and stealing their stardust. Okay, now we can leave the town. It's this way. Mille ciseaux. Ooh. Different. Oh, it's like snowy area. Cool. You're a stardust! No our stardust! <laughs> okay. There should be a amulet up this way. D stone amulet, which is something that we do need to get because I think some of these creatures do cause... Cause some stone thing going on. Um... at the bottom. Protects from petrification. Okay. Alright. And then if we go back up the left, which is where we're supposed to go, if I can move. <laughs> Have some encounters here though. Yeah. Insert communist cat. <laughs> wow, this is a weird looking trees. <laughs> oh shit, what is that? Well, uh, we're gonna use Shauna for this just to get her to do. She's only got her one bow though. That's 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 what's terrible. I totally pressed that button, but okay. I don't like using him. He's too quick. <laughs> Did it again. I did it too soon. It's I don't know why I did an animation there, that's kinda weird. Oh god. I'm like hitting myself so hard on the rebound for that too. And also heal these guys though too, but I'll just I'll wait. I wanna try to get their SP up. His fear. What is this? This is a- this is a bear! <laughs> Can you imagine this is a bear? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta- I gotta use her thing, though. Um, let's do the guard. Hey, Dragoo Powers, we haven't seen Shauna in a hot minute. <laughs> um, this is light strength to all, and then... Oh no, wait, is it only one person I guess healed? Whatever, I'll, I'll use her for light attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
see ya. <laughs> Alright, since we have the fear status, let's go back to the town and take that off. <laughs> I was like, I don't want this to stay on my characters. That would be great not to, so let's go to the clinic. Since it's like right there anyway. Everything's a okay. <laughs> I'm gonna probably switch up the characters though, because, ah, oh, man. Like, Albert's cool and all, but I can't get his combination for the life of me because it's so fast. It's just ridiculous sometimes. Okay, that thing is driving me crazy. Hold on a second here. Um. I'm gonna put that on 30 instead so that it doesn't keep showing up. Okay, that should be good. Whoops. I totally went the wrong way. Nice. I'm scared. Let's go have go to town and have a cup of tea to calm down. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's more relaxing. It's like I just came from relaxation and now uh <laughs> pretty much just going into to get scared by, like, whatever those bear things are. It's supposed to be a bear. It's supposed to be. Okay, so I think we are good for... Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna switch him out. But I just want to check something first. Yeah, he's on his Gust of Winds one. Get Kongul in there. Since we finally got his, uh... God, Shadow's so weak. She's still in the 700s, which is why I have her in my party right now. Uh, I think it's also because game mechanics for female characters in RPGs, they kind of made them weaker on purpose, though, too. They're more fragile characters compared to what you see these days, where they're more normal, I guess. Um, I'm gonna pause it right here real quick and just run upstairs. I'm gonna get myself a coffee before I start, like, start all these battles and stuff like that. So I will be right back very soon. I will leave you some, um, more lo-fi in the meantime. And yeah, I'll be back very soon.
There we go. Got all my stuff. <laughs> so, remember we were talking about the fact that it's puts in week this week? <laughs> so, in Quebec, we have this delicious, yummy dish called a putsin. It's uh, French fries, gravy, and cheese curds. And this week, we have a special week, which is dedicated to it. Or actually, it's more or less... There was a dedication of a day to it anyways on Google. If you did the Google search, I think it was on Friday or yesterday. I think it was on Friday. Yeah, it was on Friday. So... It's like, it's existed for, for a long, long time, but all of a sudden it's getting more recognized because they finally added the actual word to the dictionary. So, that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, to, to just say, um, basically I'm having that for dinner tonight. Because <laughs> my dad's making some, so I'm like, oh, okay. Alright. Oh, there's a save point here. Well, I guess I'll save there then. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, uh, probably gonna fight against. Okay, so if we go up to the left here, we're gonna get attacked apparently. I'm walking really slow. Whoop. Or not. Oh, this is the body purifier. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's on the right side? The heck? Oh, this... People writing guides, they gotta, like... It's like, you don't know where your left and right are. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? Is it a roadrunner? Forest runner. Oh shit. Yes. Hey -o. Yeah, let's get her to go in. You I forget his is really fast too. Why are they so fast? <laughs> Why do they do this to me? Okay. Still not a, not a lot of XP for those. Most of the XP is just gained from the actual boss battles that we have. Alright, so this is where we're gonna get attacked by that wolf. If I go to this path, I think. Wait, is it this way? Um. Wait, this is confusing. Hold on. It says go up and around to the top of the hill. Oh, that that hill. Okay. Okay, so I have to go up there first. She was. Because that's where the kid is, I think. Ooh, spooky trees! Oh my god, if. I don't know if you saw this, but if whoever's playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom, it's like. Yes. Revenge of the Forests. <laughs> Revenge of the Trees. <laughs> You're cutting all the forests down. Trying to make things, but all the, there's trees that come alive and can actually kill you. So that was something. It's a confused tree. Oof. It runs away. <laughs> Moss Dresser, that's what it's called. 
Oh shit, okay. Power up. And it made it confused too. Dang it, dart! Come on. It hit itself in confusion. Nice. I. Hmm. Never quite understand if it's a delay between the input or if it's just the game itself that's doing that. Okay. That's the kid right there. Whoops. Hey, hey! Help! I'll be killed! Oh. Whoa! This is Camoy? Everybody surround it! Finally, I found it! I'll get him. And I'll get the five times larger prize. Let me kill it! Stop it! It's you! You're alright? Everybody, listen! It was not quite as fun. It was a different monster that attacked Fa. Yo, leave Kamoy. No way. This Kamoy protected Fa. So I'll protect Kamoy this time. Please don't kill Kamoy. Yo, it's no longer the Kamoy you knew. Many other people were attacked by it. Guys, let's grab Kyo first. Stop it! It's fucking up everyone. Yo! Pursue them. Oh no. Misunderstood creatures. Wolf called Kumui. This it used to be Tio's. I wonder why it becomes savage. I don't know. The only thing we know is, is that the wolf is a menace in the forest now. Some Sometimes doggos become like this too. Okay, down the right path it said... Then this way? Maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Gotta change camera angles here. We're also gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Oh my god, really? I keep thinking I'm gonna hit it, but it doesn't hit. It. I'm gonna stare directly at the button on the side just to see if it does anything. Oh, I got a three-person dragoon sting. Ow, stop whiplashing me. <sighs> it's either too early or too late, or I don't even know anymore. Heck yeah. Um, actually, I think it would be better if we do use their dragoon powers, though, so that I think it helps maybe level them up. I'm not sure. I'm just saying that. Oh, yeah, this is the first time we're viewing his. So badass. So chonky. 
And then I love how his axe gets even bigger. <laughs> We're chopping trees, guys. <laughs> axe style. <laughs> So big. <sighs> that looked like a landslide. Oh, I didn't kill the other tree. That's a bunch of poof. Gotta get their. MP up. Or the SP, sorry. Get hers. She's got two now, which is not that bad, but the other ones need to build theirs. Gotta get Meru too as well. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with... I'm gonna give healing to Dart though, because he needs it. I think she gets multi heals afterwards, but I'm not a hundred percent. Yes. Oh, come on. Pew, 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 pew. That sucked. <laughs> she didn't even have one of those meter things. Oh wow, yeah, that's a uh... hmm, kind of disappointing for a dragon. can't carry any more items. Damn it. Oh, I guess I'll use something. Um, let's just give him a healing potion, I guess. Even though I'm not really using him right now. E Petrifier, which is always good to have. Okay. We can't... I don't think we can go... Yeah, we can't go this way. This way is filled with monsters. This is dangerous. Take another road. It's like, thanks, guys. And then we have to go straight, pretty much, I think. Or take a left. Actually, let's not go into the deep, dark forest right away. <laughs> let's go to the left, where, where we could have gone before. Roadrunner and what is that? The heck is that? Like an, a forest creature? An elf? What is happening? Dark elf! Yo! What is up? Well, we're gonna build our strength back anyway, so might as well handle the forests and burn them all down. <laughs> I'm gonna burn your forest! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, let's. Just do this. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. Hope they're enjoying their day. Looks like I got some... Not so real people in my chat today. Why did it change the freaking angles again? How much HP does this thing have? 
Only 450. What the? It's like a low, low front angle. Can I make it go upwards? Nope, we're, we're doing this from the bottom. Okay. I keep thinking I'm gonna hit perfect with this, but it, apparently it just doesn't want to give it to me. Alright, let's try getting back to the left again. Going this way. Ah, before we run into something. <laughs> oh crap. Um Okay, so apparently there's a choice um, that we have where we can either fight Kamoy or we can just continue going south. I think I'm going to continue going south. I don't want to fight that dog, to be honest, so... Especially because I like puppies. Oh shit, that was... No! That hurt. Oh, it missed. Okay, good. Whew. And he missed again. <gasps> no, we're gonna get into an... It's gonna be a... Fit range of misses, <laughs> like last time. <laughs> Wooing? Oh no! What? He's charmed by the bird? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yo, Shani's gonna need to heal, though. Son of a beep. Okay, um... Actually, what I'm gonna do is... No, she can heal herself, I'm pretty sure. I totally had that. I don't know what the hell happened there. Okay, he broke it. I was gonna say, that's kind of weird for her to... I'm weird for Kongol not to... Be very severely out of character. I'm gonna just bend. Bending again. Hopefully, it doesn't attack me. We're gonna go with dart. Again, it. Nope. Apparently, it doesn't want to work. Fuck, oh, man, that hurts. Boo -boo -doo -boo. What's everybody up to today? Anything interesting? <laughs> Keeps trying to woo him. <laughs> Bye, woo woo bird. <laughs> God, that flickering madness on Kongol's back end. Ah! Enough with the, the elastics. Yeah, that time it was okay. It didn't have like the backlash. Yeah, I made it confused again. It ran away! <laughs> that works. <laughs> Okay, so down here, south, apparently. Okay. Hmm. 
Otherwise, go south, continue on a little bit, and a conversation ensues between Rose and Meru. Okay. Um... If I do the option, Because Kamoi and Tio's side quest is optional, right? Um... Part of the Ancient Dragoon Spirit's side quest, it says? Or no, that's something different. Uh, no, that's fine. We don't need to fight this guy if we don't have to. I like how he's tapping the shoe when just waiting for me to do something. Okay, um, let's see here. I mean, I could do Healing Breeze, but I don't think they're gonna need it. We'll just, we'll just wait it out until we get stuff. Good. Hit Kongul. He's stronger than the other ones. Just tanking all those hits. Alright, let's get... Uh, let's actually guard with her first so she can gain some HP back. I didn't say to hit him all the time, though. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get him dragon form. Hit them with some fireballs. I'm gonna burn their forest down, let's go. <laughs> Awesome. Not enough damage, obviously, because these guys are like four something. Hold on a second, let me check these. They're 360 and 300, so they're in the 300s. <clears throat> oh, it's Kongol's attack. This guy's gonna be dead, maybe, I think? No? Yes? Okay. Ow, stop hitting my dude. Um, and do another one. No, not really. Let's conserve that and hit this guy. Now he's a fried bird. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we got this. Uh, she's only got 10. Yeah, we'll save it. And she kills it anyway, so that's good. We should be getting to another area soon, so we'll be able to heal up. I'm just like checking to see. Yeah, there's gonna be another store anyway, so I might as well just like heal breeze. That's fine. Um, and then do I have an MP breeze. Yes, I do. Uh, give to him just for now. Oh, here we go. Please go ahead. I remember I have some important errand to run. Hey, wait! I'll catch up with you soon. Look for Lloyd in the meantime. 
She is mysterious as always. Meru? Hee <laughs> hee. I now remember I have an errand to run too. You're not going to tell us the reason either, Meru. I'm just visiting my parents, that's all. That's all? You should have said so. I'll miss you, Meru. I'll be back soon. See ya. Typical of Meru. Let's move on. <laughs> Errands, you say? Well, we don't change much of our, our stuff anyways, which is why we were focused on them. Um... But now we're gonna be leaving the Evergreen Forest, but we can still technically level up here. Um... We don't have to leave just yet. Let's get some, uh... Let's get some battles in before we move on to the actual next place to go to, which is Snowyville. Oops. I don't know why I was pressing left trigger instead of right trigger. Let me know, is the sound okay? I, I just, I forgot to check to see if the background music was okay. I know my voice is always higher anyways, so that should be fine, but... Menacing? Oh no! <laughs> He's charmed and menacing. Oh god, he's killing himself. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, do I have a... Uh, e spirit? Fine purifier. He's hurting himself. Ow. Um... Yeah, let's... Let's try to get these guys down. Keep missing that last one. Oh no, Kongul's dead. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do this. Oh, oh Shauna's also wrong too. What the heck's going on with this battle? We're having this problem before. Oh no, Dart. Ow. Oh no, we're all. No, we're both charmed. This battle is going really bad, RG wise. Bye, Shauna. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Damn, this this game just went downhill like so fast. And can you please not make yourself charmed anymore? And not kill Shauna. Okay, you know what? We're just We're just not gonna we're gonna restart this battle because that was complete shit. <laughs> We're doing a do over and hoping that things go well. <laughs> um, so, one do over is a cure. We can basically change the RNG of the predetermined. We need to kill these things. Because if you do any other actions that are different from ones you did before, they're not going to take the same actions from... It's like a pre-prediction, essentially. When it comes to get Uh, when it comes, when it comes to game pro programming. Yes. Especially RPG games. Like, if this person uses this thing, do this action. And then there's like 
percentages and stuff involved. Okay, let's heal Hongul because he's taking a beating again. He's gonna. I just lifted the music, the background music, a little bit more. Uh, what just happened? Oh, okay. I was like, did my game freeze? They're not moving. Oh? He missed? Really? Wow, that was predetermined. Damn. This battle is not happening. It's just really out to get me. I think I'm gonna try to- wait, do I have any items for this? Maybe I should use an item. Anything that I mean, this is also pretty good. Enemy. I don't think I need to boost this one. No, I don't. There, I can slowly kill it with poison. I have to pick up more of those along the way, though. Ooh! Congo, please do not hit Shauna. Oh my god, this is so dangerous, this battle. No, please don't- Please don't hit the Shauna. Oh my god, guys. What is happening right now? I don't know what it is, but if it does damage to all of them, I'm gonna be happy. It looks like it is, though. Have a boost. Oh, that looks like a really awesome attack. Yes! Finally get rid of those stupid charmers. Oh my gosh. I hate that I had to waste a freaking attack ball like that, though. Get out of here, tree. Nobody wants you. Oh, boo -hoo, tree. Oops. And it's good. Wow, that la lasted a lot longer than it was supposed to. Um. Just goes to show that old RPG games can really F you over if they want to. Um, I'm gonna go to the town now. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna take a few battles before going, and I was like, yeah, let's not. Let's let's just go to the next area, which is uh Deningrad. This snowy city right here. Crystal Palace in Deningrad. Okay, so we're gonna go to the items and weapon shop right away. Cool. Ding, ding, doo, doo. Um, I think it's this one right here. This is items. 
Okay, we need to restore one of these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy anything, though. Hold on. Okay. Before I do... Because I need to buy weapons. Weapons are expensive, usually. Oh, yeah. I'm not using him, so we can avoid... Hmm... This is not fair. Stardust boost. Increases escape rate for magical attacks by 5 points. I just want to check something for a second for the notes that I had for... Uh... No, she needs dancer shoes. That's a different thing. We can avoid that for now. Kongul is... Hey, he's got his Giganto armor. Oh, Tomahawk, though. That is the one that's the best for him. Okay, so we're gonna pick this up. Okay, and then... What else? Nothing for dart. Magically attacked SP is accumulated. That's actually not bad, but then at the same time, I'm like, eee. Um. All of those are magically accumulated for them. Except for this guy. Frightens enemy when. With a given probability. Wow. Hmm. It ups his defense. This one's like magic defense is uh, updated for that. There's also this. I'm gonna give him his. Yeah. Let's, let's just do that part. I don't know if I'm gonna be using her though. Hector avoids abnormal status, arm locking, fear, de stone, obviously. Ooh, armor of legend. 10,000? Yeah, no. Um. Maybe we can sell stuff that we don't need anymore? Wait, did I have two of those? No. I think we just sold a bunch of stuff anyways though, so that should be- it should be sufficient for now. I'm gonna keep those though, because that was okay. Leather boots we don't care about. Go for items. Yeah, we want to keep those though. Speed up would be great too. Okay, that's- that's fine. We didn't have to use too many of our items, so completely recovers HP. What? You need to recover that one though. Hmm. Let's go with that. They're giving me electric attacks on purpose. Okay, we're gonna take some of those. I think I I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use Hashel for whatever's coming up. Okay. Um. Oops, I went back in. We're just gonna visit different places in here. Where's there? Is there any Stardust in this area? There is, but it's not. Oh, it's not in in this area actually. Okay. It's cold, it's cold! I'm from Tupperware and this weather, cold weather is too harsh for me. <laughs> He's not dressed for it. He'll be wearing long gowns and, and robes. Somebody's house. I was just married the other day and I'm happy as a lark. You're married and blessed by Bishop Dill. I'm so happy now. And you have a, you have a house already? <laughs> yeah, they already had a house, but they have another house. Real estate. We're not warriors, it's too dangerous to go into the evergreen forest. 
I just came from there. Recently, Evergreen Forest has become a nest of monsters and the animals in the forest have turned into monsters. Hello, warm day today. This is warm for you? Okay, so where am I going? This way? Or was this the clinic thing? Yeah, that's a clinic. I don't think I have anybody that has any statuses right now. Except for Shauna being dead and dying. I need to get to an inn though. Is there an inn? Um, because it says go up to the top right. I don't want to go up to the top right just yet. Such small rooms. Do you like books too? Then go to the city's national library. You can find any book there. I'm on my way. Such tiny little houses. They're like one or yeah, they're like one bedroom houses. Studios. Tiny studios. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Fifty gil! Wow, they're getting pricey in here. Upstairs? Not be used. Came from Sergio, but we never imagined that it would be a dangerous a journey. Came from Sergio to see the Crystal Palace. Okay, so they're all like tourists. Women are running in this country. Queen Teresa and four sacred sisters. All of them are women. Wow. Honey, it's a nice day today. Young people like you can't imagine how wonderful a quiet life is with just me and my wife. Um, yes we can. Very humbling, actually. Okay. But then you'd also probably drive each other crazy, so... <laughs> Do 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 Oh my god, ah kid was blocking and I tried to get around it and it like made me leave. <laughs> Wah Told you, play quietly in the house. Yeah, kids. Do as your parents tell you. As long as it's within reason. Locked. Okay, so I don't think we have to go up there. We have to go this way. And we're gonna go top right, which is where we need to progress. Wait, did we go in here already? Yeah, we did. We go this way. It is said that the divine tree that lives in our heart and last fruit have been protected from evil by the signets created by the ancient winglies. Legend goes, when the signet was born, uh, was broken, the end of the world approaches. Just like the last fruit, we humans are one of the fruits given life by the divine tree. For the end of the world to be a mere legend, must remove evil from our hearts and live in honesty. Is our mission as children of the divine tree? A divine tree, I'd never heard of it. We still don't know what the objectives are for Lloyd. Any information can be helpful. Oh, you must be travelers. Welcome to Dindigrad. My name is Bishop Dill. I've served the divine tree. I'm Dart. This drawing is what you were talking about? Yes, it is. The divine tree. That is what we imagined. Nobody has seen the real tree. 
Nonetheless, we believe in the divine tree as the source of life and harmony. Would you like to know more about the divine tree? Yes, please. And let's get into the divine tree. Cinematics. Tree of life. All life comes from this divine tree. In the beginning, nothingness filled the world. Then the creator saw descended from the sky. And his followers created the world. In the end, Soa sowed a seed on the earth. The seed soon grew to be a great tree. Kind of like Yggdrasil. More 108 fruits, and various life forms arose from the ripened fruits. Thus, 108 forms of life were created to fill the world. Divine tree completed its role, but the story says it is still protected by the signet of Soa. Hmm. Epic tale. Gotta give it to them. It is like this the world has established with a fate determined by Soa. God's tree, sown by Soa, is the divine tree. If you would like to find out more about this, you can go to the National Library. Is that the Ciseau National Library? I can step into the treasury of knowledge. I wonder if I am capable of receiving all this incredible luck and still remain calm. No, I cannot. The treasure of the knowledge is shining and calling me. Al Albert, are you okay? Let's go. I think we have to talk to somebody first beforehand, though. Um. Yeah, we have to go talk to this dude. Who are you people? Do you realize that you are talking to the librarian? You just. No, no, sorry. So, what do you want? Have you interrupted my sermon for no reason? I don't like stubborn old guys because. I want to be an adorable old guy. <laughs> Do you say something? Please wait. We were told by Bishop Dill that there is a wonderful library here. If you want. You can just go to the library. Oh wait, I locked the door when I left. So can you open the door? I would love the opportunity to touch such treasures of intelligence. Alright, stop looking at me like that. I appreciate it. I'll let you in now. <laughs> he is such a haughty old guy. Don't say that. We have to do what we can to do until Lloyd shows up. That's true. You use a drag and a dragoon in Sergio and in Tiberoa. You obtain the operation of the Wingley. Don't know what we'll do here. 
God, it started raining outside. No, why is it raining outside? It was sunshine. What the heck? Yeah, we gotta go follow. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go to the library. Wow, it is really pouring rain outside. Holy sheesh. Save here again. I am okay. Give me like two two minutes. I'm gonna go actually and close my window here because it's coming through my window. I'm gonna go close another window in another room. I'll be back. Apologies for the wait. Yeah, I didn't want the that rain coming in through the windows because if not, it wouldn't be a bad time. Okay, so we just saved up. Now we're going towards the library. There is a ceremony going on. Please come another time. Oh wait, is this not the right place? Where's the library? Oh, it's here. True, because that was the locked door. Whoa, okay, that's a weird view for a library. It's a top-down view. This is incredible. This is the knowledge source of Innis. Go look for anything you want. The entire wall is filled with books. Maybe we can find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't look at these things all the time have an effect on you? It made me wise. Hongo feel dizzy. Gigantos lose to books. <laughs> Here's something about dragons. And also talks about dragoons too. We can say that the Serdian War was started from the Dragoon Spirit that was brought by Lloyd. Let's split up and look. Let's just do it. 
I guess I have to use my brain for the first time in a long time. And Gongo read human words. If Rose were here, she would tell us a lot. They'll be back when they finish with their errands. We have to do what we can do for now. Hmm. Alright. Can speak to pretty much each party member. It is about Winglies, I guess. Guess? Congo cannot read human characters. Congo look pictures. Let me read it. Winglies are people with wings of light who employ magical powers. They had their glory 11,000 years ago and had a normal magical power that could float colossal cities. City floats. Yes, it is unimaginable in the current world. They became extinct after the war with humans who were seeking their liberation. But Lennis, who was a wingly, was alive. Besides us, dragoons are supposed to, only, uh, to be only a legend. Legend doesn't necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragons. No, dragoons and dragons. And what is this? Mirage manipulated by winglies. Hmm. A sea. Son, did you find something out? The book is talking about divine moon objects. They're just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. If we can find out about meaning of divine moon objects, we think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay, let me read the part I found. After the Drangood campaign, humans controlled the con continent endingness and divided the continent into four and established three new countries. To the east, Sergio, to the south, Tiboroa, and to the north, Milcizo, and to the west of the continent, the untouched land, the death frontier. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the winglings of proof of their alliance. Divine Mujap objects are said to conceal magical power However, the usage is unknown. Uses are unknown. Hmm. This mystery must be hidden in there. I will look into it more. Move it, woman. I gotta climb a ladder. <laughs> Talk to Hassel. He's doing some reading. This book talks about dragoons. Dragoons from legend? Yes, it is. The heroes of a dragoon campaign. According to this, we are the first new dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called... History requires them. History requires them? Is that now? Lovitz was a dragoon, and Grimm. Dole and Ennis too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started from the dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. Lloyd is a part of the history that is necessary. And our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. In spite of the fact that the hu they were humans, there were seven heroes who led the dragon campaign to victory 11,000 years ago, crossed the sky, and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the dragoon spirits as if it was some unavoidable fate. Legend seems to be telling us that after this journey, we will vanish. What? <laughs> this is a marvelous place. It seems all the wisdom that the humans can possibly know is there. I'm reading a book on politics now that is very... Can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? Y yes, indeed. Now let me read the portion that talks about dragons. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species of all 107 creatures given life by the divine tree. Their attacks and life power overwhelms others. However, the creator so created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign, 11,000 years ago, in a fierce battle against Virages manipulated by Winglies, and couldn't avoid being annihilated. But they weren't annihilated, like the book says. True. And again, they are ruled by dragoons. Look more. Hmm? Hmm, hmm. They led to the dragon campaign.
What do you need? Are you acting <laughs> Are you acting superior again? Of course, I'm superior. I prefer hit with girls over feeling superior. <laughs> I don't care about those things. It seems you're interested in the dragon campaign. Bring these divine moon objects, dragon, dragoons. Those are all something to do with the dragon campaign. And Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign. Dragon campaign is my specialty. Maybe I could be of assistance. Tell me. We only know fragments. I see. This is the legend of the dragon campaign that I know. And we're going into a cutscene again. There were seven dragon warriors in the legend of the dragon campaign. Dragoons reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered. I was not expecting this guy to have deep voice. And granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the god's fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the dragoon's cause. Then at last they freed the gods. Without the gods' power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the human age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. Alright. Kids, we've learned a lot. <laughs> That is the story. I have to give him a deeper voice now that I know what his voice is. <laughs> Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh well, that's unfortunate. You are already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there any- are there more books? No. It contains the historical material of Mio Cizo. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, there are historic objects. <laughs> this is something left by the black monster that brought an inferno on this country. Black monster! It's already been 18 years, but it's surprising a young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, are you a survivor from the village? Yes, he is. Oh shit. There was a whole other upstairs to this part. Okay. Beginning and ending of the dragon campaign is a wall painting with the theme of the dragon campaign. Fictions of dragoons. There are dragons, uh, dragoons during the campaign. Dragon campaign. Is that the tree? It seems to be a painting of the divine tree. Stone plate of people with wings. It must be about the Winglies. Okay. What about this one? Relics from Neat, the tragic village. Oh. Oh shit. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster. The only things that survived the Black Flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors or. I know only one. Who's that? Second sacred sister of Mil Cizo. Sister Luan. Seems you don't know her. 
However, I can't can tell you a little about the Black Monster. There's a legend about the Black Monster and the Moon Child. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. It's an ironic but. People who visit the church in need pray for th their own happiness by looking at this stained glass, which shows the legend of Black Monster and the Moon Child. Here we go again, guys. Why did the gods create him? The Black Monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. God that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. The herald is known to us as the moon child. Moon child. The legend says the moon child revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the moon child. Oh shit. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is in never-ending chaos. Pretty awesome art. Interesting. Okay. Well, we know Shauna is the moon child for sure. Meanwhile, in Neat. Nothing has changed. Am I hesitating? It's silly. Oh, we're playing as Rose. Mother? I am back. Mother, it's been a while since the tragic day I lost my sight. Oh, that's Sister Lana. I'm able to see today thanks to the love of many people like Seti here. And the divine tree blesses the all the victims of the tragedy. Who is it? I didn't mean to surprise you. You are? Just a traveler, please don't be alarmed. People of Ni and my mother are sleeping here. Are you here to visit the grave too? I guess so. And you know about Neat. Yeah, she does. Neat 18 years ago. It's gonna be a day of flashbacks. <laughs> Where is Princess Nubia? I'll never tell you. Ah! I can't see, Mom. I'm scared.
don't come. Where is Princess Nuvia? Where did you hide the moon child? We don't know. What kind of spitefulness do you have towards our village? You want to die with your daughter? Mom, I'm scared. Princess Nuvia is left for the sea. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chances to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years. It's the time of birth when the moon glows a blood color. The newly born moon child has a magic power. That magic power changes everyone around it into an evangelist. Bleh, I can't even see. Evangelist for the god and servant to help prepare for descending of the god. Ah, my objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person who was present as the moon child passed through. Mom, answer me. It's hot. It's burning, Mom. Mom? Oops. That was sad. Was this, it was a miracle that I survived. I see. And you were blinded back then. Yes, however, the god imparted me with something else. This little one can see people's souls. He can feel their pain too because of this. Sister Noana has suffered. Now I can appreciate this power that I have because it allows me to heal the pain in people's hearts. If you need to heal the pain in your heart, please tell me. I can help you. That's not necessary. By the way, are you done? Yes, I will go back to Denigrant Soup. May I join you? Even if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from them. I see. And I'll ask you to come with us. It's like, well, what's our jobs then for? <laughs> Home of Meru. Now oh, we're doing like Meru's house. Yeah, we're gonna find out about her too. Hmm. That's been a long time. I wonder if everybody is doing all right. I wonder if they feel lonely without me. Whoa! Hey, watch out! Who is this coming through the boundary? Who are you? Not knowing me. Meru, is that you? Meru? Gura? And she's a wingly. Long time no see, you look great. Do you think I'm really great? How could you leave without telling me? Where have you been? Heh. <laughs> hey, I came all the way back here. You don't need to yell at me. Are you happy to see me? I'm very happy to see you. But leaving the forest is our taboo. You left the forest. So I don't know if it, everybody else in the forest will forgive you, Meru. Who cares about taboos? Everybody in this forest? And the humans outside? Both of us are living in the same world. How come you have to draw a line and lock ourselves in like this? That's what I want to know. I've been living in this forest forever. I wish I knew. I'm going to ask the ancestors. I won't ask you anymore. Now we're playing as Meru. Okay, so. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I have everything here. I don't think I need to do anything too much. So, let's go over here. Teleporter. Wheel. He's a wingly. Yep. I called it beforehand, but it's also because I played this game before. I'm home. Oops, it seems I'm not welcome. I'm welcome. It's Mero. Mero's back. This is my home. I can come home anytime. Such selfishness is not tolerated. 
There's no place to come home to, Meru. But that's true. Here, the black sheep of the proud Linglies. How dare you shamelessly come back? I thought you were satisfied with your decent human life, weren't you? Ardell? What are you talking about? Go back to the humans. Wait there for the moment. We destroy the humans. Stop it! The ancestor! You left the forest on your own volition. How come you come back? I just wanted to see everybody. Leaving the forest is an unforgivable and mortal sin. Did you know that when you left for the world of the humans as well as that, you can never come back here? Yes, I did, it's, but it's strange. The world is 100 times bigger than this forest. There are, of course, bad humans, but there are many good humans, too. You never met them, and you shouldn't hate them. There are people who hate and detest humans just because they are humans, but their number is few. We just want to protect our lives, that's all. Humans have always been afraid of the magic power of the Winglies. The fear eventually turns itself into a need to tyrannize us. Take action. You're the subject of kill Winglies. That's why we need our own world, like this forest, where humans cannot enter. Go back to the other world. Your existor angers the others. I understand. I'll leave. Meru! Mother! Leave the fall girl alone. Father, you must be kidding. That's the rule. We're going. Mother, father. It must be hard for you, but you must go back, Meru. Get out of our forest at once. And she got denied. Do 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 do. Well, we're going. Whoa! Gra, what are you doing? What? I want to talk just between you and I. It seems you received a horrible welcome. It's nothing to me. Stop talking tough, Mario. It's just bad timing. Everyone's feeling tense lately. Is that my fault, too? Now, recently, the Earth is surging. Don't you feel it, Meru? I've been feeling it a little. The animals in the forest are acting savage. This must be the cause. What is this? Ancestors Blano said that it is the omen of the dragon coming back to life. It is not the usual one. Even our ancestors, who had much stronger magic power, couldn't defeat it. What kind of dragon is that? It's the strongest dragon of the all. The king of the dragons with seven magical eyes. Divine Dragon. Divine Dragon? The ancestors say that the seal has half to solve. That's why everybody's nervous. But, but we have a Dragon Buster and Dragon Block Staff, don't we? The sword for the killing dragons, the Dragon Buster has been lost. It wasn't me. We know, because it was hidden with the staff in the place that only the ancestors could open. And... The talk you wanted between just the two of us is about the dragon? That too. What I really wanted to tell you is something else. No, don't leave me. I want to be by my side. I can protect you if everybody opposes you. You're kind as always. If you do, you will be hated as well. I gotta go. Everybody's waiting for me. You have friends. They're all cool. You show me and teach me many things. Ciao! Meru. <laughs> it's like, Hi mom, hi dad, bye mom, bye dad, see ya! <laughs> oh shit. That looks dangerous. Um, 
What's going on? Oh, uh, oh no, is that the dragon? Holy shit. Um, uh... Yo, I think they just like woke the beast up. What are you going to do? Are you going to pursue that mad Lloyd? When you get time, go visit Neat. You cannot change the past, however you can face it. Facing it, maybe you can find out where you are from and where you want to go. Kick the beast in the shins and run, oh my god no, <laughs> are you kidding me? I guess he wasn't just a snob. You have to wait for Rose and Meru. Huh? Anything wrong? No, I just felt a little shiver, that's all. I feel something is wrong. And this is where we save? Because <laughs> there's shit gonna happen? <laughs> So, that dragon that was, uh, hooked up, the one that they mentioned was, like, the, the god of dragons, basically, or whatever it was. Like, normally they're on our side, but because of bad shit's happening, stuff is not going so great. <laughs> um, alright, so we have to go up, actually, towards this. There's a summer going on, please come in at a time. Okay. We try to leave and then we have to go back up towards the Crystal Palace. Uh, where is it that we have to go? Da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Rose! You find out anything about Lloyd? No, there was no trace yet. I just happened to meet them. This is Nuana and Seti. Hmm? Excuse me, but you had some ex some changes in your body recently. What are you talking about? Sister Nuana, Sister Seti. Thank you, Sister Nuana. Now I can walk outside. How can I thank you? It's fine. This is what we Sacred Sisters are for. I'd like to talk to you. Can we go someplace else? Hmm. You are the renowned sacred sister of Mil Cizo, Sister Lara, and Sister Seti. It's my pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure to meet the heroes who defeated the sea dragon in Ilsa Bay. Really lucky to follow her from me. Sister Lana, I heard about you from Librarian Ut. We have something in common. We are your survivors of Neat. So you went through that tragedy. Do you remember anything about the survivors? Or the whereabouts of the black monsters and anything? What I remember is only the sound of terror. I'm sorry, I don't think I can help you. I see. But it's okay. The fact that somebody survived that tragedy means I can have hope that continuing my journey will someday lead to the black monster. I'm with you too. 
Oh, does that mean you went to need two rows? I told you, I just happened to be there. Hmm, Sister Nuana, what about the health of Mr. Dart? Yes, what do you mean unusualness of my body? I see that you people have strong powers. Power that is beyond humans. Seems that the source of your power is in turmoil. Another power that has influence over you is anticipating the liberation. That is what I see. That's all I can tell. If it confuses you more, please forgive me. Hmm? Whoa. Oh no, Sister Lana! This is... The answer to your question, you may find out the truth about the entity that has influence over you now. War is not a human nature. Humans fight by making themselves in enter insanity. It's the same for the revenge in this tool to amplify the insanity. Insanity is the source of the power of the Dragoons and Dragonite. Someday something will happen and can sustain insanity. I wonder if you'll be able to endure it given the me meagerness of your spirit. Ooh, I'm trying to read text very fast and it's not going well. <laughs> Dirt? I... I'm fine. He's not fine. Cutscene. Oh, the big dragon has been released. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Whoa. Oh shit. Hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> Woo, dragon. Dragon's like, I know where you are. <laughs> Anger, animosity towards human or all things. Hey, buddies. Oh my god, oh my god, could you be? Your rival, the one who glares through seven diabolical eyes and who crosses the sky with seven wings, is trouble. It's the King of Dragons, the Divine Dragon. Legend was true, the King of Dragons sealed by the long gone winglies rests to the ground of Miel Cizo. Once it awakens again, it shall bring terror to the world. Again, you're facing a dragon. What are you people? We are the Dragoons. We are the Dragon Knights who have the power to rule dragon. Dragoons, the legendary dragon knights. That is the reason why I have feel strong power in you. But why did the dragons, dragoons, come to this country? Is it because of the dragon? No, we are here to pursue a man. He is a sneaky, dangerous man, even for those with the strength of us dragoons. What did the man do? Engaged in secret maneuvers during Serdian War and formed a conspiracy. For the coup d'etat and Tiberoa. Is he going to bring evil to Mu Ciso? Oh, is that the dragon? We see Queen Teresa. It seems that we need the power of you dragoons. Okay, well now we're gonna go see Queen Teresa. Let's go. Um I'm gonna switch her out and put Tiberoa in just because. We're gonna save again, just to be on the safe side, because there is a lot of, a lot, a lot of stuff that we just went through here. Seven wings. How do you fly with, with an uneven amount of wings? Magic, I guess. Same with the Sephiroth they get square. Well, I mean, I think one of the wings got blown off, so there, there used to be eight, maybe. 
All right, let's go. Oh wait, hold on a second. There was there was apparently a semi-hidden chest outside. Hold on. That's right. This to the left, they said. Uh, go up the stairs and just to the left of the stair roll is a chest. Maybe it's inside. It has to be inside, probably. Or it's like here. Wait, no, it's this one right there. Okay. Um... How much I can get rid of, though? You know, to the left. So left has nothing important to continue to the throne room. Alright, let's go to the continue to the throne room part. A lot of stairs. Okay, we can avoid these rooms for now. It says to go to the throne room. Can I have a conversation. What I'm telling you is that whatever the monster is, with the force of the holy knights. Oh yeah! I totally forgot about this. Nothing can withstand against us. Have you ever seen the monster? According to the briefing by my men, it is a bigger than a cloud and faster than our horses. It's impossible for such a creature to exist. Where does your confidence come from? It's impossible to s for such a creature to exist. You idiot. Talking about the enemy based on mere assumptions, are you going to expose your men to such danger? You're a dismissed commander of the knights. Yes, ma'am. Like punches the side. <laughs> um, introducing new character, Miranda. Calm down, Miranda. You are in front of guests. Luana Selty, I'm glad to see you came back safe. You'll never change, Sister Miranda. He doesn't understand the current situation. Who are these people? I brought them in order to save Mil Cizo from the intruder. You said save? If you not take action, it will attack us again the next time. It might attack us directly. Do you know anything about the monster? It is a divine dragon awakened from the long rest. No wonder he is cranky. Divine dragon? You are... Talking about the monster sealed in the mountain of Portal Dragon. Yes. Dragon King of Dragons sealed in by the ancient weeklies. Divine Dragon came back to life. Are you sure of that? Please relax, Miranda. You said you will save this country. It is possible for us humans to defeat a dragon. I don't know yet. However, we might be able to stop it. What confidence you have. We are the Dragon Knights who rule dragons, the Dragoons. There's nobody but us who can stand up to him. Are you saying you're heroes from the Dragon Campaign, the Dragoons? I was surprised too, however, I don't see any falsehood in their heart. Means we will request your help in vanquishing the divine dragon. You are free to ask. In either case, we have to meet him. You have a favor to ask, Your Majesty. There's one thing we need in order to cross swords with the divine dragon. It is said that the Winglies made two weapons in ancient times to fight against dragons. 
One has a sword to kill dragons, namely the Dragon Buster. Wh what? How do you know about that, Rose? Oops, I didn't say anything. Wait a second. Isn't that the sword? Yes, it is. The sword that the bastard used to kill Labbits, and I'll never forget. Therefore, we have no choice but to count on the other weapon. What could that be? Dragon Block Staff. As this name implies, it is a magic staff to block the power of the dragons. And where is the Dragon Block Staff? I was going to ask you, actually. It seems that the one of us knew about it, Meru. What are you talking about? You know about it? Please tell us, for the sake of this country. Why are you hesitating? Okay, okay, I'll tell you guys, alright? I think it's in the Forest of the Winglies. Forest of the Winglies, where the heck is that? Um, it's in the northern part of the Evergreen Forest. If so, are you saying that Wingleys still live? Uh-huh. It seems that the myth of the fairies in Evergreen Forest art area was true. Queen Teresa, I'm heading to the Forest of Wingleys with these people in order to borrow the dragon block stop. Are you coming too? Of course. Problems are too big to just leave to you. Besides... I want to see how far you dragons can go. If you really have the power as described in legend. I beg you people, please save Mule Cizo from the Divine Dragon. Now we're headed to the Forest of Wingleys. No time to procrastination. Why is Shauna staying back? Please wait, I don't see Shauna. Where did she go? What timing? Let's go look for her. We have no time to waste. Do 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 do. Just going back up the stairs again. Turn out to the chamber of the signet without saying a word. Alright. Check out this scene, guys. Shauna! Shauna, are you alright? Where, where am I? When did I come here? What happened? I don't know, but that took me. Rana, what is this room for? This castle used to be a fort for winglies. I heard that this room is used for, to be a chamber for a ceremony to seal something, but it was more than 10,000 years ago. Isn't it the reason the Divine Dragon made a raid on the Crystal Palace? In other words, he's trying to work off his hatred against Wingleys. Why did you come here alone? Were you called again like the time that you were at the Virage? No, it was different this time. I woke up and I was here. I feel hot. It's gone. My... And they're transferring powers.
What's this? I cannot imagine anymore. I don't feel the power of the white silver dragon. You... You are a dragoon too. Me? Dragoon spirits manipulate fate. Hmm. I... I can no longer... Shauna. Hey, what's going on? What is this stone? The plot thickens. <laughs> I see I passed out. You alright? Yes, but I don't think I can go with you anymore. There's nothing you can do in your condition. I knew it from the day I looked at the moon in Funi. I was sure this would happen. To me. We'll be back as soon as we defeat the Divine dra Dragon. So wait for me till then. Lighten up! I'll work hard for you, Shauna. Congo too. Won't be long, Dart will be back with you soon, Shauna. Don't worry, I'm accustomed to waiting, but thanks everyone. That awkward moment when somebody else, a new girl, shows up and steals your powers. <laughs> Miranda, please take care of the rest. I know. Replaced! <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. Alright, meet Miranda. New person that's not useless when fighting. <clears throat> she's got the she's got the same powers, but it's like anyways, you'll see. But, uh, yeah, she's... Oops. Um... Hold on a second, I gotta fix this. There we go. Baby using bow, or arrow. Let's see what's the best one to have for her. Okay, so silver vest is good. There's a night shield on her right now. She has soft boots. Ah, eh, that's magic defense for that one. I guess. Okay, let's take a look. I think she still has the same additions, though. No, she doesn't have any. Uh, but she has the power, but it doesn't... Okay, that's weird. Alright, so. That happened. Now we're on our way back to the forest. I don't know if we're gonna get into the uh, into the boss fight this stream, to be honest, because we do have to go through uh, a couple of different places first. We'll see how much we cover. Forest first. Okay. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is let's see here. You'd still have the opportunity to fight Kamoy. Oh, but if we don't want to, then... Just follow the path to the right. Right going north of where you first met Kamoy. So we're going basically through that, um... That forest area that we skipped before. Just straight down the middle. Cool, we get to see Miranda in action now. But yeah, pretty much it's just like a replacement for Shauna. They're literally both bow users. Um, I prefer Miranda though, because she's uh, less useless, like I said. A little bit more damage too. Gotta get Mero's uh, attack on point here. Ow, that hurt so much. Ding. Get out of here, forest green. Very fast hits for Meru. I thought I had that. What a bunch of BS. Poof. This way. Where are we going? A dead end. Here we are, at the entrance of the Forest of the Wingleys. Huh. <sighs> Maybe I'll get kicked out again. Where's the entrance? I see nothing. There is a magical boundary here. Wings have locked themselves in the forest since the dragon campaign. How come they didn't live with the humans? You know about the Dragoon campaign, right? It's the war between- <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the war that humans who obtained the power of the Dragoon started in order to liberate themselves from the control of the Winglies. Some Winglies are still angry about that. Besides, Winglies have a power that humans don't have. The ancestors told me that the power drives the line between humans and us. Mero, are you- I'm a wingly. Are you surprised? Yeah. Why didn't you tell us? Would you believe me? Would you consider me as a friend if I told you guys? It doesn't matter. Meru is Meru, right? Mm hmm. Now let's get. Let's go to the Winglies. Now we're dealing with serious stuff. Ah, self-acceptance. That's cute. Let's go. <laughs> They're gonna be pissed off that we enter their place, though. Uh, 
I wonder what would happen to us if the divine dragon came into this forest. How would we fight it with our own magic, but probably we would fail given our current level of power. The answers are said that we won't become extinct if we cooperate with other species. Other species? Are you talking about humans? That's right. But I wonder if everybody in the forest can understand that, including me. Hmm? The seal. Meru. The humans. Meru brought humans here. I'm going to let the ancestor know. Oh shit. Don't shoot! They're my friends! You're not here to fight. You're here to borrow the dragon block staff. Dragon block staff? Meru, how dare you speak about our secrets to them? But the divine dragon is now awake! What? What can humans do if they cannot even use magic? Should we break through? No, we should not. We have to take some action or everything may be destroyed. That includes the forests of the Winglies and the human cities. Everyone, hold on. The ancestor says he will meet with the humans. You, please don't agitate the people in the forest. We are not used to seeing humans. But, watch out for the bard, old brothers. What do you mean? Let's go, Dart. The ancestor Blano is in the back of the forest. Onward and upward. Ooh. Freak out all the peoples, let's go. Okay, I think there's places where I can do stardust things. Um... I hope we can get to eat though. They're supposed to probably do that first, actually. I don't know if that's gonna interrupt something. Hold on a second, I just need to check. This is a poorly written guide. Okay, I think I might be able to backtrack to go to Neat. We'll see. So you're humans. This is the first time I've seen one. This forest does not welcome humans, so even the murderous intentions towards humans, like Bardell Brothers. It's an order of the ancestor. I'll carry you to the back. Uh, yes, please. Thanks, I guess, because I can't fly. Well, I do have wings as a dragoon, but... Is this... Is this the guy that I have to speak to? There's a cupboard. See? We respect the intention of the ancestor. The ancestor trusts you, we trust you too. Where are we going here? Seems that the way that they spend their lives is not that different from humans. No shit. Okay, where am I going here? Uh, top left of is Meru's parents. Father, mother, I'm home. Meru, do you realize what you're doing? So there are the humans you have deluded you. Don't talk bad about my friends. Meru, I'm still me. I want to protect everybody in the forest in my own way. Darts and friends. The ancestor believed in Meru and is allowing the humans to pass through here. You have to believe in Meru too. Humans over there. 
dragon is supposed to be your ally. Winglies and humans are enemies. Why are you trying to defeat the dragon with us? Dragon campaign has been over for more than 10,000 years. Besides, there's no reason for our two species to fight against each other, is there? Honey, our ideas may be too old. Please take care of Meru. You don't need to say such a thing. I'm the one taking care of them. Oh, Meru's taking care of. Yep. Who? Starting everybody. I assume there is no time for this. He's right. Meru, let's get going to the ancestor. Okay, you're right. Father talks harshly to you, and actually he's happy to see your face. Besides, he likes starting friends. Don't be yapping about silly things and just go to see the ancestors. Okay, I will. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Mother is right. Seeing you makes me feel relieved. You're f living your own way. Of course. I'm your only daughter, father. I think a lot. Bye now. <laughs> Without using the stone, you cannot use magic or fly. Those are such weaklings. Wow. Okay, so there's this, and then there's this. Let's see here. Pair of teleporters on the right. Take the one on the left, it says. I think this is for, like, the weapon shop or something. Whoa. Bit muffled about giving the magic items to bar bar barrack humans, but as an order from the ancestors as well. Buy something. Magical weapons? Do I even have money for this? No, I don't. Uh, damn it! Oh, I gotta sell all of my life insurance. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I can get rid of those though. Get rid of a bunch of stuff. Are we still using this? I think so. Not using this anymore. That. God, I don't think I'm gonna have enough to actually sell any of these. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Items. I don't want to sell any of those because those are important. Sachet is an important item too, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, put those down to one e or two each for. That was mine, that was body, that's pitch fire. Uh, wait, did I only need 300? Yes, I do. There we go. Raise this magical pack. Defense, and no, I think we're okay for this for now. Um, alright. Then it also says to take the one on the left, too, which I think. Well, we took the one on the right, though. No, we took the one on the left. This is for the item shop, but I don't think we're gonna need any items, because we're already pretty much well-stocked. Cannot use magic? You can't even fly. It must be very inconvenient, isn't it? Mm, excuse me! Linus, she is not a wingly from the forest. Linus, a wingly who... We don't know. I thought we were the last winglies. Room of stairs for recovering your health. Please feel free to use it. It's an order from the ancestor. Oh, it's for healing? Bardell, are you bothering us again? 
And the vine dragon can be taken care of by us without asking humans to help. Besides, we have no business talking to a betrayer who ran off to humans. What happened to you? Vardell I knew was much kinder and wasn't like that. My baby sister was killed by a human. Oh no! My baby sister was influenced by you, Meru, and left the forest believing that the outside world was wonderful. You don't need human's help. Do you have something else to say? Get out. There might be more people killed now. Good for you. It's a good chance to learn how helpless you humans are. We winglers won't die. Our magic power suppresses the dragons. You are strong, huh? Don't make me laugh. I wonder if you have noticed you are declining because you cling to your glory of the past. What are you even talking about? You can barely fly and that's about it, right? Maybe you won't think that way after this. Huh? Huh? No way. Is this the legendary dragoon? Please let us take care of the divine dragon. I'll come back to take care of your baby sister's matter after my journey has ended. So please trust us for now. The ones who flaunt their power disappear with the truly powerful appear. I am going ahead. You can't even revenge for my baby sister anymore. Divine power. Blah, blah, blah. I feel weak in my knees. I cannot move. Is this real? Ugh. You wimp, brother. How dare you, humans, just because you are afraid of our magic power. You are sending destroyers of old dragoons at us. Silly humans, I'll pass sentence for the sin of killing my sister. I'll annihilate them now. Oh boy, they're, uh... Causing a storm. Okay, we're up here. Heard from the ancestors. Do you want me to carry you to the upper level? Yes, please. There's supposed to be stardust, though. Uh. Okay, wait. No. Can we get back down? How do we get back down? Shit. <laughs> Rewind time! <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> I don't want to mess up with the, uh... Okay, this is a healing room, so we should be able to use it, but apparently there's Stardust here. Okay, and then... I'm gonna go back down here because I want to try to find out where Gurara's room is. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh... Okay, so maybe this one? Oh, that wasn't it. Bring me back up! Okay. Let's just take the teleporter to the left. So is it this one that takes me to his room? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this thing. Okay. More stuff there. Okay. Teleporters everywhere. There he is. Mira, I knew it. You were coming back to me. Huh? You are humans? So you are friends of Miru. That's right. This is Gurara. Friend of mine. You said I'm just your friend. Mmm, we grew up together. You are my fiancé. I didn't know you had a fiancé, Meru. Hmm, this is more to you than I thought, Meru. 
Wow, what are you talking about? It's true, isn't it? I thought she was still a kid. Hmm. Must be true that the Wigglies have a long life and they are not as young as they look. What are you analyzing me for? What kind of a relationship do you have with Miru? Relationship? You're just friends. At first she insisted on following us. Is that so? We have no time to talk about that. Grava, what are you coping yourself up in here? There are awful things going on outside. As the ancestors told us, the divine dragon has come back to life, hasn't it? Why aren't you defending the forest? The other day, I let you in the forest, Miro. I am probation now. Of course I would defend the forest if I could. Whatever. We're going to see the ancestors. You just stay here and you be gloomy. Miro, you have changed. You can be changed too if you go outside, Gura. I... There was a commendation for us wing a commandment for us winglies. We cannot do what you want us to do, Meru. Yes, you can. <laughs> she's such a defier. Casually saying she is not a lolly. She's much older than she looks. Classic anime. I mean, they have they have silver hair, right? So that could be that be that could be taken in different ways too. What are they selling? I can't buy anything though. Oh, they have a- okay, it's an item shop. That's fine, we don't need this. What's on the right side though? I haven't been up here yet. Let me show you some cool stuff! Whoa! What is this? It's the Archangel! That's the guardian god of the Minglies, the ancestor told me. You say told me. But you don't worship it too, Miru. I don't know. I've never been protected. Maybe I just don't know, though. Okay, editor. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay, let's go back down. And let's go see the mayor. Or the elder, sorry. Same difference. Old people running things. Let's do some healing. Nice. Okay. Oh, I, I went up there to get the Stardust and I completely forgot about it. Like an idiot. I got too caught up with the friggin' story crap. A lot of backtracking. <laughs> Uh. There we go. Oh, I gotta drink some water here, though. Hydration. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to do the voices for though, because my vo my uh, my voice is starting to get a little bit raspy here. <laughs> Too much high pitched female voices at this time. me up out, Scotty. Please. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Ooh, that's fancy. 
There's nobody here. Where's the ancestor? My body is being healed. Is this the magical healing? I wonder if it is an apology for the discourtesy. Ancestors, sorry we are late. Welcome, humans and Giganto. I am Blato, the ancestor of the forest. I am first sister, sacred sister of Milciso, Miranda. Please for forgive our sudden visit. <clears throat> I'd like you to listen to our story, the divine dragon is. I know. A divine dragon came back to life in the mountain of the mortal dragon, and there are dragoons that have come to us. It seems that the times won't leave us alone. The messenger from the Stristal Palace, and the people who were fated to come here. Our opponent is so enormous, we have to combine each of our strengths, or none of us will survive. Neither the Crystal Palace, nor our forest. You mean... Let us put the power of the Dragoons and our wisdom together. You'll let us borrow your dra Dragon Block Staff? We don't have the Dragon Buster now, but our Dragon Block Staff is at our last resort. No longer have the power to master that, however, if you rule, the dragons can use it. Oh, what happened there? Come on. Controller's being weird. You can fight against the divine dragon. I appreciate your kindness. However, we cannot participate in the battle. We are all that remain. We cannot become extinct. I'm going. I know. You are Dragoon too, Muriel. Go inside. I will show you the way to the Dragon Block Staff. Wait, why is he not surprised that she's also a Dragoon? <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, just just do the thing. We don't care about you. She left. I'll meet you. I'll meet you there, Muriel. Just got some talking to do with the old man. You are attracted to those humans. Yep. They're really cool, Ancestor. I want to go on the journey with them. And I want to see my mother and father anytime I want. Are you telling me to throw out commandment away? It is not the right time yet. But eventually, in the near future, the time will come when us and the humans live together. Go with them. As a wingly, go see humans, or better yet, the entire world. Your experience will lead us there. Okay, I hear ya. I'll meet you there. Mero is the one leading us to the outer world. Where are those humans leading the world to? It must be the flow of time. Only the fates can tell. Woof. Whoosh. 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 Go flying. Whoa, okay, we're, uh, somewhere up high. <laughs> do, do, do. Um. Okay, what is this thing? Da -da -da -da. Okay, so I think we might need to backtrack a bit here. We're gonna go backtrack and go back to Neat. Because we missed the Stardust that was there. And then we'll come back to this part to continue it. If not, I don't know how. Like, it, it's kind of a weird division, so... Can I... Can I go down, though? Uh... 
Maybe this way? Oh, okay, that works. And then, whoops, down this way. I'm just putting myself in teleporters, you know? Random teleporters, whoops, I should probably save. Okay. Um... We're gonna piece out of the forest to the right, apparently. I'm gonna go back down this way and then bottom right and follow the path. This way, because it's opened up now, I think. I hope it is anyway. Okay, it's only one of these, so it's not too terrible. No. Oh, do not charm me, you silly bird. Ow, I just hit myself. <laughs> oh no, what are we So many dangerous birds. Ow. Good, it's dead. No more charming. <laughs> Going to neat. Neat. One of those weird creatures. <laughs> And here's Tragic Village of Neat. And we are. There should be a thing here, I think. Yeah, okay, so that's the one Stardust we came back here for, but I don't know if there's like a sequence or something. Hold on. I'm gonna check. Check the memorial. I see the name of my dad and my mom. Anything else? No. That's it? That's all that's here? Okay, that was all that we came back here for. I thought there was gonna be something else, but uh, I guess they didn't do very much for it. Looks like Momo from Avatar. Yeah, it does look like Momo. It's like a really weird screeching... squirrel type thing, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, wait, did I just go the wrong way? Yes. Well, I guess we're gonna fight some stuff. Let's make her turn into a dragon.
get fucked. Road runner or forest runner. Wee ice tech. Let's go. Do, 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 do. She's got the most awesome theme song too. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do do do. do, do. It was worth it. Dang it. Ow. What the hell was that? I'm thinking I might cut the stream short at 5 o'clock instead. Since I did start at 1.30 today. So we'll get- we'll get back to where we were at the, uh... The land of the Winglies. I think the next area is there's gonna be a lot of stuff uh, to do. Plus, there's a few items actually that uh, I need to get that are super important. It also says I'm gonna have to have Albert equipped in my party for the next area too. Give common air type enemies elemental boost, so yeah, that might be a wise choice on my part to do that. Um Yeah. That, I think that's that's a good plan. Cause it's gonna it's if not, it's gonna be a very, very Yeah, and there's like a boss battle though too. Yeah, oh. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty messed up in the next area. So I think I'm gonna leave it off here for the next time. That way that maybe will probably even take a few minutes to um just gonna close this off. We'll take a few minutes to actually just kind of grind, I guess, next week too, though, so that'll be better for us. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. Uh, I appreciate everybody for coming by. It was a different, uh... Different, more laid-back stream. Not so many battles today. This time around, we didn't have too many, uh, well, we didn't have any boss fights. We had a lot of lore, though. We had a lot of backstory. Which is cool because that's always a good thing to have is to find out more about what's going on in the actual um, in the actual game, which I actually was looking forward to too to have like a little bit of break of of just just the the, the stuff that's going on for for this game. So that was that was a good thing to have. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be back again next week with more of this for sure. Every Sunday is gonna be is is the thing the name of the game basically for this. So if you want to see more of this, I'll have more of this on next Sunday from 1:30 p.m. to around 5:5:30, and we'll hope to see what goes on in the future for this game. Um, if you want to just keep up with my posts and stuff. Um, just follow me on Twitter at IceValkyrie. 
Twitter, and uh, that's pretty much my socials for that anyways. Um, so if you want to get caught up with notifications and stuff like that, make sure you guys have those notifications actually turned on both on Twitch and on Twitter if you have me on Twitter. Also, if you haven't followed already, I look forward to your follows. You're welcome to it if you want. That way it's easier for you to find out when I stream next, of course, too. Schedule is up actually on my schedule section. I'll be slowly updating my um, my Twitch though. I've been kind of a little bit too back backlogged, I guess, or whatever recently because I have uh, a lot of work, my actual job anyways. So I haven't been able to actually create new emotes yet for, for if we get subscribers and whatnot. And you guys can still unlock those anyways with your random um, channel points that are down at the bottom there. So if you want to unlock a random sub emote, there's only two of them available. I, I just have to have the time to actually create new, uh, new, new emotes for my channel, hopefully. Um, aside from that, I might be looking also into changing my um, background images and stuff like that, because right now it's with my older my older stuff when I was still doing cosplaying. Like, I still do cosplay, but it's like, it's not as often as I used to. So it's, it's, it's taking, I'm trying to change it more into using my, like, VTuber style stuff anyways for that. Um... So that's where it's sort of more or less developed into which is which is understandable um so if anything that's that's my future plans anyways to hope to get that done and uh, we'll see what what i can think up of for maybe a background picture and stuff like that or even my new logo i'm gonna have to change my i'm gonna have to make a logo or something like that anyways for my my profile because it's still my face. <laughs> I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> that was only for a cosplay character anyways, for my picture that's shown there anyways. So I'll probably update that soon. Um, what else? Floor tanks, Lavitz, and next emote. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh god, poor Lavitz. <laughs> it's like... I'm trying to think of like different scenarios of like stuff that like people would understand and that less so that it would be so much like an inside joke kind of thing. Cause like I know that people a lot of, on Twitch have like inside jokes for some of their emotes. Like for me, the guts emotes, it's like 100% Valkyrie profile if people know it. Um, but I don't know if Floor Tank Lavitz would be something i don't even know how that would look like honestly it's just like it'd probably just be his body and like i don't know if it's possible to even make that for for an emote to be honest it's like <laughs> yeah it's kind of it's it i i don't think it's very good especially because i think um that would probably not work in turn if for twitch's terms and services and probably go against their their policy and see that as like violence or something so i don't know if they would also allow it if i did have it done <laughs> not gonna lie on that one there's a lot of it's twitch is very um particular about what they want for people to use as their emotes because a lot of people try to get away with things that are not so you know kosher i guess uh, so yeah, that's, that's pr probably the reason why anyways, that you probably wouldn't see that. Um, we'll, we'll try to think of other stuff anyways for different emote wise. I do, like, I do have a range of emotions, like different motions that I would like to become emoticons for the, for these like reactions and stuff like that, for the emotes. Um, but again, it's to do with time and also... Maybe even, like, looking into friends who can, like, do uh, commissions or something. Because I do have a lot of friends that do are artists. Um, so maybe I can commission somebody to make make an emote or something like that. Or see, see how that goes. I'm trying to look for, like, something that's, like, cute and represents um, my channel and whatnot. And what I'm all about. Which is, uh, 
just chilling, playing some games for friends. Nothing's like not really too into subscriptions. It's okay for that because I'm just an affiliate, anyways. But uh, I just like uh, entertaining people and hang out with people and hang out with friends and stuff. I do plan to hope to maybe eventually get a, uh, a collaboration stream maybe going with uh, with our other friends and stuff eventually maybe in the future. I'm hoping that maybe we can put something together to like just have a maybe like a multiplayer stream or something like that maybe with with uh, Zyman or or with Jen, who knows. Uh, I'll talk to some people in the future maybe to try to get something going there. Um, if it does happen, it might not happen on a Sunday though. We can probably do that like on another day uh, during the week. But I know that Bert's schedule is very tight anyways during the week. So maybe it would be like on a weekend, on a Saturday or something. I have no idea. It would be random though. It would be like a one-time thing or something like that. And then we'll see like what happens and go from there because... Um, not as many viewers, I would think. So I'll I'll have to I'll have to see about that. Maybe talk talk to people about like getting something going. I know that we were planning on. Um, I think you guys are you guys are scheduled to do golf with your friends. Um, this week though, right on Wednesday. Is that still is that still a thing that's happening? Yeah, okay, so if you guys are watching right now, I'm going to be in that stream, um, so if you guys want to go and check out, um, I'm just going to shout out, um, Zyvin's name here. If I can spell it right. <laughs> it's like, there's, there's two possibilities. It's either I shout out the wrong person, or... Or get the right the right spelling. Soon to be former friends. No, we always say that, but it's never the it's never the case. Hold on. Let me just Let me just pick I have to go down my list. So I have like T E I V E N. Oh V E N, yeah. Okay, so yeah, um, that's basically his stream, so that's basically where I'm gonna be on Wednesday evening. I believe that's in 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern that we're gonna be playing that. So that's that's pretty much it for that. Uh, you can guys, you can check us out on Wednesday anyways. We're gonna be playing golf with your friends. It's gonna be chaotic and it's gonna be an experience in itself. I mean, we've played it several times just like off stream though too, but it's it's a chaotic place to be. <laughs> Anywho, I gotta get to dinner, but uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of their weekend. I, de I definitely have tomorrow off, so maybe I might stream tomorrow. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. But if it is, I'm just off streaming. I'm not doing any Legend of Dragoon. I'll probably be doing something random if I do stream tomorrow, but I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Uh, no promises. Um, but yeah. Have yourselves a great rest of your weekend and also a great rest of your week. Enjoy your Sunday. If it's sunny, hail to the sunshine. If it's... Oh, it actually is starting to get sunny out again. There goes the rain. Yay. No more rain. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next stream next Sunday. Bye-bye.